Welcome to Chromolution.com. I'm Stephen Burns. And I've been getting quite a number of questions about how to customize the Wacom tablet driver to Photoshop. Now, I'm using the Wacom Cintiq right now. And when you open up your box and you, and you plug in your new tablet or your Cintiq, make sure you do not load in the current drivers that came off your CD. Instead, go to Wacom.com and download the latest and greatest drivers for your particular product. Now I'm using the Wacom Cintiq 21 inch right now. And what you would do um, in either case is to go to your customer link, select product drivers. It'll take you directly to the drivers. We're going to select our tablet model and since I am using the Cintiq here, I'm going to scroll down Cintiq 21 UX then what we need to do next is select our current operating system. I'm using Windows 7 currently. We'll select that. Here are your drivers. Right down here it's listing all of your drivers according to date. So your your latest and greatest driver is right up here at the top. This used to be a link. Wacom has changed its uh, design of its website lately. And what you want to do next is go right over here to the right hand side where it says more info. It really, in my opinion, should say download, but more info it is. Select it and automatically a separate little window will pop up here that's going to allow you to download your current driver. Okay, it's giving you the current driver, the USB tablet, says Windows 7, um, 32 or 64 bit, which is exactly what we need. We click on download, download it to your downloads folder, double click the executable file, you know, it's the same for Mac or PC, and then you're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go into Photoshop and let's address the basic functionality and customization of your brushes for your Wacom tablet. Here we are in Photoshop. By default, we will not have pressure sensitivity for my Wacom tablet. Take note that I created a brand new layer and I hit Command or Control A for Select All so that if I decide to paint, I can simply hit the Delete key on my keyboard to quickly clear it out. This is the way I like to work in terms of creating my uh, basic uh, brush shapes. So, once again, as I press down light or hard you will see that I do not have pressure sensitivity now in order to get pressure sensitivity we need to go into Photoshop and tell it to utilize that pressure uh, capabilities of your tablet so to do that once your brush is selected now I have the double layer on my tools bar here the, the fourth tool down the right hand side we're going to select our brush tool and if I access the third option button on your options panel we will get our brush um, options here and currently it's showing us the shape of my brush or the what or the outcome of the brush and it's pretty accurate to what I'm seeing in here if I come over here and just draw like so it's pretty accurate to what you're seeing now the question is how do I get pressure sensitivity on this brush well in Photoshop the way you get it is I'm working in CS5 uh, by the way if I go down to transfer, select transfer, you're going to see an option for opacity and flow. The same opacity and flow that we have here on the top of our options panel. Make sure that you go and select pin pressure for both. It automatically did it for me. And it will show you here that instead of a singular line, solid line, if we press light, it's going to go um, very subtle in terms of opacity and if we, if we press down harder it becomes more opaque if we let it up lighter again it gives you a um, little more transparency so I'm gonna go ahead and, and adjust the size of my brush and if I press light as you can see and harder and then go back lighter again alright so what I like to do is I like to kinda draw here very lightly press a little bit harder and lighten up just a little bit let's go ahead and hit delete and I'm going to go over here and grab something like a bluish color that will help us to see a little bit better what I'm doing and as I press down a little harder a little harder and a little bit lighter a little bit lighter you can see I have this wonderful functionality but you have to set that here under transfer okay so now that we know that 
what we need to do next is I want to create custom brushes custom brushes are created from black and white information now since I already set my foreground color to black I'm gonna hit the D key as in default that will change my default black and white color to black on the top and white on the bottom I'm also going to turn off the transfer just temporarily so I have a nice solid shape and you'll see what I'm going to do in just a little bit I'm going to create something very simple. I'm going to re resize my brush down here. Now on the PC, in CS5, I'm using my Alt and right click. Now on my Wacom pen, you're going to have a top, a bottom button and a top button. The bottom button is set for right click by default. All right. So if your mouse is hovering above your pad or above your Cintiq monitor, and you simply hold down the Alt or Option or Alt key on the PC and the bottom click drag it not touching the, the tablet or the screen just dragging it back and forth you get to resize your brush if you drag it up and down it goes from hard to soft from hard to soft I'm going to give it more of a of a hard uh, edge brush here if however you're working on a Macintosh you have to hold down the control and option key not the command and option but the control and option tap down on the board or your or your Cintiq monitor and drag left to right to get the same functionality okay get the same functionality and up and down to make a soft edge and hard edge brush okay now with that said I'm going to bring the brush down a little bit and I'm going to create a brand new brush holding the shift key I can create a stroke that's going to be restricted to one direction now I'm going to select my rectangular marquee command or control D to deselect I'm going to select this shape let's define it as a brush edit and we're going to go to define brush preset here it is call it what you want I'm gonna keep it the you know default just to save time and I'm gonna hit command A again to select all now where did it put that brush let's hit the B for brush on the keyboard that automatically jumps to my shortcut to my brush and if I come right over here to the second second icon on my brush panel options it's always the very last one there it is I'm going to select it I'm gonna click anywhere to get rid of my panel and there is my brush and I can use I can use my resize commands to make my brush bigger and smaller okay so now I can kinda tap and create these types of effects alright so I'm gonna hit the delete key and get rid of everything right here is showing me what I'm getting so if I kinda play around with this I'm getting a nice solid edge well under the brush tip shape on my options I can adjust the spacing because right now is one solid line but I can adjust it to create spacing here and let's kinda do I'm just holding the brush down on the screen or the tablet and it's actually give me spacing in between each of the brushes okay kinda fun stuff now what if we go back and pull it together like a little ribbon and now we add some transfer now if you're not working on CS5 this is going to say other dynamics keep that in mind so with opacity and flow for the pin I can come in here and make all types of neat little effects so if I press light and harder and a little lighter again you can see what I'm getting now my brush in my opinion is a little bit too thick so just for fun I'm gonna create another one of these let's go back I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a standard brush hard edge brush and I'm gonna bring it down and make it really thin because I really want to get the effect that I want and go ahead and draw a nice solid line just like so let's define that as a brush select menu select option rectangular marquee select this brush edit and define the brush preset click OK and if I come over to the brush select it I'm gonna hit command A again and go back down to here there it is alright it's selected 
I'm going to come back and there is my brush all right nice and thin that's what I'm looking for okay so we're gonna to go to the brush option here and if I select this and I can adjust my spacing accordingly as you can see all right so I can come across go ahead and bring this down just a little bit I can create it like so so you get a little better idea of what's going on here and let's go ahead and adjust our spacing make it nice and tight all right now what I'm going to do is let's, let's actually make it even tighter okay taking the spacing even tighter and then you can see I have a nice soft now let's go over and select the transfer and remember it's other dynamics on versions that are previous to Photoshop CS5 and make sure pin pressure is selected for both okay you can see this change once I create a new brush I have to save it or else I will lose it so drop menu new brush preset call it whatever you want I'm gonna click OK come back up here to your brush options and you can see the effect of your brushes right here so now if I press light and a little harder again a little lighter again we have all types of almost a, a clip a, a calligraphy style um, control here again using my brush resize command I can make the brush a little bit broader